guys welcome back to the show so today i'm gonna do something that's kind of out of my character uh so as the thumbnail and as the title suggests we're gonna try out just for men uh this is for beard and mustache uh color is dark brown so let me forefront this i love my gray hair uh don't get me wrong i have pretty good sized patches of gray hair i'm very thankful i have really good hair uh the top hair i've got a few little sprigs i'm not going to touch any of it so I'm going to mainly focus on just the beard. So my plan is tonight I'm going to dye the hair and then we'll revisit this in about two weeks. So give you an idea, right now it is right before Christmas. We're talking a couple days before Christmas and I plan on cutting all my beard off shortly after New Year's. Uh, just trim it way back. So I don't really care about maintenance and upkeep, but I do want to show you guys what happens over the course of a couple of weeks, if it fades out, if it looks funky, and that kind of stuff. Now, I'm going to preface this. I have never done this before. Uh, as far as the beard goes, uh, in my younger days, I've had blue hair, I've had blonde hair, uh, burgundy, purple. There are no pictures of that. You will not find that on the internet. So, let's get to it. We're going to hop into the bathroom. I'm going to change clothes just so I don't ruin any of my good clothes. And we're gonna get to this together. All right, let's go. All right, so here we have everything in the box. You get a mixing tray, a pair of gloves, a brush for application. You get the developer and the color base. You also get instructions in English and Spanish. And you also get, what is this? Oh, rewards. So I guess the more you buy, the more you get. So I will say this, uh, Just For Men does have an application video if you want to check that out. I'll try to put a link in the bio. Uh, basically what this says is first, uh, make sure you're not allergic to it. It has a whole setup for that. Uh, first step would be put on gloves. Make sure you have a towel handy. Change clothes so you don't ruin your clothes. Uh, you mix equal parts of the color and the developer. Uh, blend them together, uh, work the brush through your beard, uh, work on the gray parts first. Uh, after you get done with that, wait five minutes and then you wash it out. It says do not use bar soap, which is good to know because typically I just use bar soap on my beard. So we're going to head to the bathroom and start this out. All right, so here we are in the bathroom. I've changed clothes. I've already laid out some things. So... Uh, this is the hair color. This is the developer. I've mixed, well, not mixed yet. Uh, put about equal parts on there. Uh, here is the brush. So I do want to say something before I start all this. If the gray bothers you, more power to you. Uh, if it makes you feel better, makes you feel younger, if it really, really messes with your mind, do this. Women have done it for centuries. I don't see any reason why men can't do it. Uh, me, personally, I really like the gray hair. I like... My thing is, one, better gray than gone. And if you've lost your hair, my condolences. And two, it means I've made it through. Uh, I've gone through a lot of things in my life. I'm still here. A lot of people don't get to the age where they get to get, have gray hair. My beard has gone full throttle on gray hair so i'm gonna slip some gloves on uh it may get a little noisy on that but um here we go i do want to say this product cost right about i think it was 11 dollars plus tax but uh with the amount that i'm using now i have a pretty good size full size beard if you have a smaller beard you can probably get away with using less and i'm hoping this is enough to cover my beard like I said, I've never done this before, never done anything like this. Uh, so we're gonna mix this up. It says it takes five minutes. So we're going to mix it real well. It says don't put it in with your hands. So we're gonna try this brush. It says try with a gray. I'm gonna try to do this through the camera. Smell wise, it doesn't smell much like anything. A little chemically, but nothing terrible. I think I'm going to have to make up some more. Because I have a lot. 
trying to get through here at all. I don't want a patchy beard. Make sure I get up into the sideburns. Go up into the gold tea area. Like I said, over the past couple of years, my beard has really, really, really grayed out. And like I said, I'm okay with it. I really don't mind it. Don't mind it a bit. And I am out of color. So I'm going to have to mix up some more. But like I said, I also have a pretty good sized beard. Uh, I've been very blessed with a lot of hair. Problem with being blessed with hair is you have hair everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna have to mix up some more of this real quick. It, it says best results are between five and 10 minutes. So we're gonna shoot for 10. Once I finally get it all applied. So mixing this up, what that take like? 30 seconds. Maybe I'll do nine, nine minutes and 30 seconds. Alright. So that is all that. So we're going to set the alarm. For 10 minutes, get rid of the stupid plastic bags. Oh, that's annoying. All right, and we'll be back in tip. Oh, excuse me. We'll be back in about 10 minutes. All right. So I stepped out of the room. I thought, eh, hey, you know, not too bad. Oh my lord. I really, really, really hope all this on the skin comes off. Because if not, it is going to be an interesting time. Look how ridiculous that looks. Oh my lord. I'm going to go wash this out, and hopefully it's been long enough. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know. It's ridiculous. It is 100% ridiculous. It is way too dark for me. Or maybe I'm just not used to it. What do y'all think? Good, bad, ugly? And like I said, I'm not keeping it. Uh, I really do. Look, I, I miss a spot. I really, really do like my gray hair. I feel like. I feel like I'm wearing a fake beard. Like a jet black, spray painted fake beard is what I feel like. So this is it. I washed it. I used uh, Herbal Essence shampoo. I conditioned it like I always do. What do y'all think? Good, bad, ugly. Uh, so we're gonna revisit this here. I, sorry, I can't even focus on myself. I look so weird to myself. So we're gonna revisit this in about two weeks. So in two weeks, I'll try not to do nothing else to it. And we're gonna see like roots or how much it's faded. Does it look believable? What kind of reactions I've got from people? Uh, that kind of stuff. I do really hate that I missed that one little spot. But anyways. Uh, so we'll check back in about two minutes, uh, two minutes. Well, for y'all be about 30 seconds. For me, it's another two weeks and another shirt. All right, guys, so it has been one week exactly. So you can see a little bit of gray here popping through. A little bit down here, which I think I missed down in here anyways. You see a little bit of growth here. It's not as bad as I expected. Uh, have to excuse the hair, just took a shower. All this is dry. I will say that too, uh, my beard does feel quite a bit drier. Uh, but that may also be with the weather. It's been crazy cold. Uh, I don't know when you're going to watch this, but we just had a really cold snap. It was like three degrees here, so we got really cold. So this could just be from inside air. I'm fixing to trim up the beard, the mustache. Well, the mustache. The mustache drives me crazy. So anyways, I'll come back in a week and let y'all see. All right, guys, so here we are at two weeks. So you can see there is a little bit of gray starting to peek back through. It looks kind of natural. It doesn't look like, you know, just the roots or anything. So my original plan was, okay, this is going to last about two weeks. I'll just shave it all off. 
Uh, I'm going to keep it for a little bit longer. It's not as horrible <laughs> as I thought it was. So I will see you again in a week. All right, so here we are. It's almost three weeks. Sorry, I just woke up. But you can see there's quite a bit of gray showing through here. A little bit here, it started to really fade. And right in through here, you can really see a lot of the gray. All in all, it's held up pretty well. Let me get all trimmed up, cleaned up, woke up. I'm gonna take a shower, and then I'll meet y'all back in the living room. All right, so I've had my shower, I've had my coffee. Uh, let's get to the basics of it all. Uh, my overall experience with it, it was extremely easy. Uh, it lasted for almost three weeks. Uh, I have quite a bit of gray. It did cover it really well. Uh, so I asked random people. This is all through Christmas and everything. Uh, we're well past Christmas at this point. I was straight asking people, hey, did you notice? Uh, what do you think about it? That kind of stuff. For the most part, it was all positive. Uh, I don't know if anybody actually ever said anything negative. So one thing I've learned, especially through my many years of life, you think about you a lot more than anybody else. So if it makes you feel better, go for it. Uh, if you ain't hurting nobody, go for it. Uh, so all in all, is it worth it? $10, three weeks, if it makes you feel better, why not? You only live once. Uh, for me personally, I like the gray. Gray means I've gone through and I'm, I'm still here. So, all in all, I think it's a good product. I think it does well. It does exactly what it says to do. Uh, I would highly recommend not leaving it on as long as I did at first because it looked like complete just ink uh it did fade out a little bit over a little bit of time so like i said if you want to go for it go for it uh worst case shave it all off start all over that's the great thing about a beard is if you don't like it you can always do it again anyways guys thank you so much for being with me and this crazy thing i've done uh if you haven't done so already make sure you like and subscribe hit the bell icon below you'll get more videos like this maybe even better uh so share with your friends family and everybody else all right guys till next time